Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, yes, we are getting ready for the track. As y'all can see, we got Vader right here parked up right in front of me. Sorry for the wind noise if there is any, but today is Thursday and tomorrow we are going to the drag strip. So I know you guys see we got the stock wheels on. Right now we got the 285, um, I think 3520 Toyos up front and the 305, 30, um, 20 Goodyears in the rear. Actually not 35, they're 30s. And I actually just picked up a set of Mickey Thompson SS Streets um, and they're actually 305, 35, 20. Now, with that being said, y'all, goes into today's title and thumbnail. The issue with running 305 35s in the rear of the um, 6th Gen Camaros, SS, LTs, RSs, whatever, is simply there is an ABS harness that runs through the driver's side rear fender well and literally the 305 35 20s rub a hole through every single fender liner it doesn't matter like what you do it's gonna rub a hole through the fender liner it's not a huge hole but it does rub a hole now with that being said where it rubs the hole at is actually right where that harness is ran through so with that being said today we are actually going to be taking off the rear driver's side wheel taking off that fender liner and actually relocating that harness that way when i take the car to tire man tomorrow and get those mickey thompson's put on the red wheels we won't have that issue of the tires rubbing through the fender liner and actually messing up that harness and we'll be able to run the wheels and tire set up that I'm trying to run for the track and also kind of I'll daily them for a little bit not too long because y'all know I don't like getting that tire pressure light I don't like having any lights on my dash but with all that being said y'all let's go ahead get the car load it up on the lift raise it up in the air get that tire off and we'll get straight into this video let's get it and again huge shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports got that ZL1 add-ons front license plate bracket looking super lit with the custom JI 1LE plate but if you guys want to get that bracket or a tow hook from Wild Hammer Motorsports, use promo code JIWILD. It pops up on the screen right now. Save yourself some money, man. Let's get a good old-fashioned startup on Vader real quick. Uh, also, shout out Dragon Stang for the decals. You know what I'm saying? All your decal needs, get on up. IG pops up right here. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Vader actually sounds really, really good, man. I get asked a lot, is this the stock exhaust? Yes, it is. Just resonated delete. And um, high flow cooks cats are on the car as of right now. And it's about to be changing up really, really soon. Again, shout out Wild Hammer Motorsports. Got some long tube headers on the way. They should be here in a couple of weeks and ready to install. And then we'll be full bolt on E85 tuned. But well, let's go ahead and get the car inside the shop. Five minutes later. Alright y'all, so as good as Vader looks, man, unfortunately it is too low to actually fit on the two-post lift. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is jacking the car up from the differential. And we'll still be able to get that wheel off. And I'll be able to get that fender liner off. And we can still, you know what I'm saying, do what we got to do for this video. So let me jack the car up real quick. And we'll get started.
y'all. So as y'all can see, we got the wheel and tire off. Now we gotta work on getting this fender liner out. So a whole bunch of plastic clips and some Torx bit screws, and we should be able to get the whole thing out. We really just need the first half to come out. So it's looking like this plastic pin clip right here, uh, this Torx bit right here, and this one right here, and then these two clips, and I think, oh, and this Torx bit right here. And this half should be able to drop, and then we'll be able to move that ABS harness out the way. Alright y'all, so the torch bit that y'all need for those two screws, it's going to be a T15 man. Make sure you have one on deck because it's definitely going to help out. Alright y'all, so I was wrong. I actually thought these were like uh, tabs, push in tabs, but they're actually just screwed on by hand. So you can just unscrew it and use like a little panel proper, a little panel proper to grab these two. T15 right here. T15 right here and yep that should be it you should be able to just peel it back now um, let's see if you have to take the whole thing out I hope not hopefully I can just peel it out and we'll be good but we'll see let's peel that thing back so this is the harness that I was talking about and we need to break these pins these pins that are holding in place and just move the whole thing out the way. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I basically ended up just unscrewing another T15 uh, bolt that sits up here, and then just bending the wheel well back, the fender liner back, and now we have access to this harness. So you wanna wanna undo all of these clips that it's on, and then kinda pull it and zip tie it out of the way. Um, I'm trying to debate what I want to zip tie mine to. Uh, I'll update you guys once I have it zip tied and out the way. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, I have rerouted the wiring on that harness. So it used to route right here following this flashlight. Now I have it zip tied off to this brace for the brake line. Well, not the brace, but the hard brake line. So it should be good right there, it shouldn't move. Um, I'm just gonna have to like bend this part of it upwards a little bit. That way it's still out of the way and we don't have no issues. All right, John, just like that, a couple bolts later, a couple plastic push pins later, man. Everything is back to looking like stock, looks like normal. No kinks in the line or in the harness or anything like that. Everything is bolted back. Now all we gotta do is put the wheel and the wheel back on, lower the car, cut it on, make sure we don't have any colds, which we shouldn't, but just to be on the safe side. And then when we go home, mount the red ones on. And then tomorrow we mount the drag, well, not the drag pack, but technically drag pack. Uh, we mount that tomorrow and uh, drag strip tomorrow, man. Hopefully we can break that 11 second pass. All right, y'all, just like that. Got the wheel back on, car is running, as y'all can see. No lights, nothing like that. The dash. So yeah, man, car is good. I'm super stoked. Ready to get the red wheels put on with the Mickey Thompsons, man. That's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below with your name on there, but uh, Like, share, comment, subscribe. With your name and whatnot, drop it down in the comment section down below for the kid, man. Get this video a big thumbs up. Uh, I can't wait to put them wheels on there, bro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.